G'day guys, welcome to the lab. This is our new YouTube channel. Hopefully we'll have um, more interesting stuff than babble. I'll have to keep an eye on that. I do tend to waffle, I guess. This is our D40 Navara. Our little race cars and showroom on display at the moment, so I can't show you that just yet. So I thought I'd show you this. This is our VK45 DD V8 in the front of it. So the reason why we went with a DD was they were readily available uh, four years ago when I built this ute or thereabouts. Um, there were heaps of them around. The VK45 DE, not so much. Pretty hard to get hold of. So we went with a DD and I'll put the injectors up in the inlet manifold as per what you can see there. So this way we got away with running one injector per cylinder rather than running 16 injectors like... Uh, I think his name's Turbo Yoda from Mighty Car Mods. He used a similar motor in his project. He went with 16 injectors. Yeah, fair enough. That would work. Uh, we didn't want to do it that way, so we did it this way. Um, ideally, that motor's going to come out at some point, and we'll put a VK45 DE in it, which has the injectors down the bottom of the manifold. It goes directly into the cylinder head. Uh, proper port injection, proper design not a um, not a modified slightly agricultural make it go because the other options are too hard uh, design so we could have used if we tried to get really clever we could have used the direct injection system running an aftermarket pump to get our fuel supply because the fuel pump was on the back of a head it would have clashed into the firewall so we had to take that off anyway we could have sourced a pump to supply the fuel pressure then we probably would have had to run two linked GDI ECUs, direct injection ECUs, to run one motor, and that can get yucky. It can work, and it can also get yucky. So we decided against that. But yeah, this old beast has been going for um, three and a half years or more now on the road. And... Um, does its job very well. It's had a few people bang into it, but um, other than that, we're pretty happy with it. Uh, 180 kilowatts at the hubs, 400 newton meters through most of the rev range. Um, very wide at the back. It's two meters wide. You get our 10-inch wheels. It's got Pathfinder IRS in there, so we've got disc brakes on the back and the front. Um, you can see the springs there, coil spring rear end with the IRS rather than leaf spring. So, um, yeah, well that, that'll do for today. Hopefully, um, hopefully I haven't bored you to death. Please subscribe. What we're gunning for is, is to get our channel monetized and then we can hopefully get a small income from it and we might be able to buy ourselves a bottle of coke or something at the track for our efforts we'll see how it goes cheers guys